Well, welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly medium message for week commencing Monday the 28th of March through to Sunday the 3rd of April 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning medium message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom medium message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching, overarching crowning medium messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning medium messages to the question? Who wants to come through and what messages do they have for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for week commencing Monday the 28th of March through to Sunday the 3rd of April 2022? What is their current energy spiritually, emotion? Thank you. So we have the first two cards. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. Tears cleanse the soul. Okay, so Scorpios, who's whoever is coming through, I feel that they are guiding you to know that um, they're free. Okay, they are free. Um, it's almost I'm getting this omnipresent energy. Um, they can be just like divine. They can be in several places at once. They can be around you. They can be around other family members, friends, colleagues. Um, they can be in several places at once. OK, and I feel that they like their mind is free. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they are, are are definitely free. They may also be able to travel, you know, um, in our, I suppose, language, um, different areas of the world, um, travel between the earthly realm and the heavenly realm. And I feel that they are letting you know, um, Scorpios, that you're ready for a change of scenery and to explore. And if that means like maybe traveling to a different country, different location, they will be with you. OK. I also feel with with tears cleanse the soul. Um, now, either some of you haven't really cried tears and I feel that they're encouraging you to cry those tears because it will help to cleanse your soul to make room for you to explore life to live life to change your scenery to be free the same way that they are free OK, to be in several places at once, it's almost as if they want you to have that freedom of mind, freedom within your soul, freedom for your spirit to explore um, new sceneries. For those of you that have cried tears, I feel that um, whoever's coming through is letting you know that those tears are healthy because it's helping to cleanse your soul and therefore to invite the healing process of them passing okay or if um which i don't know at the moment but they're asking me to call it out if it's with regards to love life family health finances whatever those challenges are if you have been crying tears, they're just saying that those tears will help to uh, cleanse the soul and make room for a healing process, to make room for clarity so that you can take a leap forward towards the steps of recovery, healing moving forward in the right direction okay let's continue oh you are never alone yeah absolutely i feel that um 
whoever is coming through Scorpios, I feel that they are really, really trying to let you know that um, they are definitely a beacon of light for you. Yeah. Um, you are never alone. Um, and so I don't know why I'm getting this uh, energy of like travel or going different places, exploring a different scenery. Like they will still be around you because their soul can be in several places at once. So, for example, if you might be leaving your home country where all your family are, OK, that are either still grieving, they still remember um, a loved one. If you had to, I don't know, let's say go backpacking or exploring a different country or a different location. I feel that whoever's coming through is saying, don't worry, we will be with everybody you know, um, that you are moving away from to explore a different scenery, a different country, a different location, a different town, a different city. They can be in several places at once. So, and, and you will never be alone. They will still be with you. Mm. I feel that they're letting you know that they are at one with you. Like this person, whoever they're coming through, it's like the love that that you have for them, they have for you, is etched in your heart space. And it's eternal. So any time that you are unsure, particularly if you are unsure to explore um, a different uh, scenery, a different country, a different location... They will be, be with you. They will light the way. Yeah. Because they are in your heart. They're in your heart space. And that is something that is eternal. Mm -hmm. For those of you that may not have cried tears. I feel that they are letting you know that um, they are in your heart space. And they want you to make room to live your life, to take a leap of faith in something. And it's not that they are away from you. They, like, if you focus on that light within, that's where they will be. Yeah, it's like they're saying to you, follow the light within. Because it will be them that's guiding you. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Oh, look at that. Let us hug you, close your eyes as we hold you close. So whoever you are connecting with, um, they've definitely um, connected with others, okay, that have passed over. And I feel that they all want to give you a hug. So in this moment, close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, feel their love, their warmth, hugging you, holding you close to them. As I feel you hold them close to you in your heart space. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you give me your, tell me your crowning wisdom medium messages. For the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus. For week commencing Monday the 28th of April through to Sunday the 3rd of April 2022. What is their current energy? Oh, I feel like that card wanted to come out. Thank you. It says we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways. So what I'm picking up, um, Scorpios, you may give a helping hand to a lot of people around you, okay? Or if you have pets or um, if you're animal lovers, um, 
the way in which you love or help or nurture or look after your animals they love to see you do that they they realize that um that love is coming from a place that is unconditional that is that brings you love that brings you happiness and they're saying that they recognize when you help others when you help um animals okay a cat, a dog. That love comes in unexpected ways. So if you do have pets, um, or maybe you have um, you have uh, taken, you're looking after a pet that whoever has passed over has that pet has now is now in your care. I feel that you're being guided that that pet. Um, has unconditional love for you and it's possibly because that pet can move between the realms and that love it, it comes in unexpected ways and i feel that that is just recognizing that scorpios you're very loving people it's like you would give a helping hand to anybody that needs it and it's you're doing out of like the purity genuineness in your heart and I feel that um, whoever has passed over sees that, they recognise that and they rejoice that. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom medium messages to the question, who wants to come through? This card wanted to come out. Yeah, for many of you, it's cats, okay? Let the animals on earth support you, feel their unconditional love, yeah? So either somebody that's passed over, you are looking after their cat or a pet, okay? Or you may have grown up with pets or animals, okay? And I feel that they're guiding you to allow those pets or animals to um, love you to support you because they do have unconditional love for you yeah and i feel that those that have passed over are letting you know that it it brings them joy that um in the most unexpected way you can feel that love from a cat um from a pet because you love them unconditionally, either because it was a pet of somebody that passed over and now you are looking after that pet or that you've grown up with pets, particularly if it's a family member. And so that love, you're used to giving that love, that love um, is coming from a place of authenticity. And so they rejoice and they're just letting you know that that pet um is showing you unconditional love. So allow that pet to comfort you. Wow. All right, Scorpios. If this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video to other Scorpios. It also enables you to get those notifications when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support um, the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something really useful and meaningful out of um, well, these two cards wanted to come out. Um, I hope that you all get something really, really useful and meaningful out of this week's medium messages. Let's get into your um, message. Let's just put these here. Well, it looks like, yeah, they've given us all of the cards that we need. So we'll just place them here and just finish ask them to come through my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me who wants to come through 
and what messages they have for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for week commencing Monday the 28th of March through to Sunday the 3rd of April 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Scorpio that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right. So let's see what they are telling us and let's see if uh, whoever's coming through will identify themselves. All right, so the first card is, okay, so with the three of coins, um, I feel that many of you um, either are working hard to do with your uh, work, financial stability, or you want to put work into something. I feel that they are guiding you also to put work um, into um, cleansing your soul, yeah? And that is through tears. I'm really picking up for some of you that you may not have cried tears over somebody very close to you that has um, passed over. I feel that they're saying put the work in to heal yourself, to cry those tears. You also could be dealing with the Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. OK, so <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands uh, coming in. This could be a female uh, cousin that's coming in for um, for you. It could also represent um, a love connection that many of you, they want you to take action to put some work into. So maybe you need to explore um, a different scenery with this person. So if this person is in a different location um, that you may be avoiding going to see. They're saying to put some work with that individual. But so far, we've got a female cousin that's coming through. Yeah, I feel that many of you, um, they're letting you know um, that whoever this person is um, on a love front, front um, uh, there's, there's, there's happiness, there's abundance with the Sun card here. Happiness, abundance, victory with a love interest, okay? And I feel that they're saying to you to take action, to put work into this connection, all right? You also could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. With the Ace of Coins, I feel that there's a new beginning with regards to a love connection. I, I feel that your um, cousin is letting you know that... Um, you can have this new beginning. It's going to be something that's grounded, balanced, nurturing, something that you can rely upon. So it feels as if they're guiding you to take action towards that, put the work in. Also could have Taurus in your chart. Or they could have Taurus. And the Queen of... Um, The Queen of Coins coming in. So I feel that um, they're just, for some of you, it's identifying that um, this cousin could be on your mother's side. Yeah, a cousin on your mother's side. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel that whoever um, is coming through, a cousin on your mother's side, I feel that they are letting you know. They are letting you know that this person is grounded. This person is ready for long term commitment, marriage, and there will be victory, happiness, abundance. So put the work in. Yeah, I feel like they're saying to you to put the work into this connection, a love connection. For many of you, I feel that they're trying to also let you know. Yeah, they know that you, um, if there's a distance between you and a love connection, either a spiritual distance or a physical distance, it's time to go and explore that, okay? 
explore that. Um, I feel that they know that you are missing this person. There's a sense of nostalgia. It feels as if this is somebody um, that you have lived many, many lives with on a love front. And your cousin is coming in to say it's because you've lived many, many lives with this person. If you didn't really give to this connection, I feel that your cousin is letting you know um, to put the work in. All right. Because this person is um, uh, reliable, they will help a new. They will help you have that new beginning. With the five of swords, I would say that um, your cousin is trying to let me know, um, or let you know, I should say, that uh, conversations between um, a love connection. Um. Some of you could be, for men, Scorpios, you could be in between two women, okay? I feel that they're saying to you to take action towards the person um, that is ready for long-term commitment marriage. That's where you'll find your happiness and abundance. Um, I would also say, Scorpios, they, your cousin is letting you know that they are fully aware that communication um, about your emotions is is not really great um it may be a bit of a battlefield put the work into your communication and go towards um for scorpio men go towards um the person that is ready for long-term commitment marriage that's where you're going to have your new beginning i also feel that for many of you if you are putting a lot of work into your financial stability you're going to be victorious yeah you whatever you are doing with your money working hard to do with your money it's going to be successful thank you okay so Oh, wow. So whoever you are connecting with on a love front, I feel that your cousin is coming in to let you know um, that this person is somebody that you can build a future with. Yeah, I feel that they know that you're heartbroken over their passing. Yeah, you're heartbroken over their passing. Many of you may not have cried tears and that may be stopping you from healing and therefore pursuing a love connection, which I feel that your cousin is saying that you will build it. You can build a future with this person with the star card is because uh, you have lived many, many lives with this person. I feel that they are letting you know that this person, they recognize it. Um, uh, the person that is ready for long term commitment marriage um, is. And it could be you. You could be the person that's ready for long-term commitment marriage. They're saying that the person that you're connecting with on a love front is somebody that you have lived many, many lives with, which I picked that up um, energetically. Um, and they are your wish fulfillment. Yeah. And you may be their wish fulfillment as well. But you're um, still grieving, I feel. They're letting you know that you're still grieving them. Okay. And they're saying it's time for you to, to, to cleanse your soul, cry those tears. If you are crying, it's, it's a good thing because it's cleansing that stuck soul to make room for um, taking a leap of faith with somebody. You also could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Thank you. Yeah, I feel... Um, I feel that um, your cousin is letting us know. Um, your cousin is letting us know that there is something. Um, there's a transformation that needs to happen. So it almost feels as if you're being guided to allow the healing process of them passing. OK, by crying tears to cleanse the soul. All right. But also, if you feared um, a love connection, I feel that they're guiding you that, that if you can transform that, 
move from fear into enlightenment that this person will bring you nothing but happiness abundance prosperity they may even help you with regards to your money like putting your heads together the two of you can build a lot of money maybe start a business or something they're saying that um um yeah move from the position of fear into a position of enlightenment what's in the dark is coming into the light this person may be a twin flame with those two jugs here but this person is definitely your wish fulfillment or you are their wish fulfillment and your cousin is letting you know that it's because um uh you guys have lived many many lives together all right. You also could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian or, as I say, any um, zodiac signs that I call out. Um, it could be the person that has passed over. OK, so Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus are all coming out here with the Queen of Cups. I feel that there is love. There's a lot of love. OK, Um between this uh love connection either you have a lot of love for them or they have a lot of, a lot of love towards you and it's unconditional love yeah it's unconditional love and i feel that um i feel that they're letting you know that your mother would approve your mother will approve for some of you it, your and only for a few of you it your mother might be coming through if she's passed over I feel that they're letting you know that they approve of this love connection. If your mother is um, alive, I feel that your mother will approve. If you feared that, um, yeah, there wouldn't be approval, I feel that um, your cousin is letting you know that um, they will approve. They will approve. You don't need to worry about that. let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you i feel that um, your cousin is letting uh you know either you are keeping secret that you want a new beginning or, or you want something solid, grounded, balanced with a love connection, or they're saying to you that whoever you're connecting with on a love front is keeping secret that they see you as the person that they want to build a future with. They may not be telling you just yet, but when they do, um, it's going to be victorious. It's, good. it's There's nothing but happiness abundant and abundance. A lot of love this person has for you. Scorpios that your cousin's saying. And it's because... Um, it, yeah, it's because you've lived many lives with this person. If you've not given um, to this connection because you're uncertain... I feel that they're letting you know that this person is heartbroken by that. That's why they're saying to you put, to put the work in because actually there is happiness, abundance, prosperity. And by putting your resources together, you and this person could actually build quite a healthy financial environment for yourselves. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify thank you so um yeah i feel that you're being guided i feel that you're being guided um that you're going to come out victorious um after some deep healing maybe deep healing of their passing okay or if this person is heartbroken because you're not putting the work in okay um they are going to recover yeah they're going to re recover um if you can put the work in and then there's a new beginning for the two of you we've got cancer coming out uh i feel that your cousin is letting um us know that um you know she's aware that the two of you are from different backgrounds different locations perhaps and together with the world card and the yeah the world card and the chariot coming out here uh, the two of you are from different locations do you know that 
different countries, different towns, different cities, not living together. That's why they're saying take a leap of faith um, and saying that you're ready for that change of scenery. Explore either the country that, that, that a love connection is in, um, a different location. But I feel that it's going to bring about change in your life and change that's going to be really, really positive. You may really think the world of this person, this person is definitely long term commitment, marriage, or you have really, really high standards. And this person, a, a love connection, um, thinks the world of you. For some of you, um, your mother's mother if she has passed over she's coming through as well so a grandmother and a cousin so it feels as if um your cousin may be the niece of your mother but yeah there's um some strong females that are coming through a grandmother a mother if you if your mother has passed over. But it feels as if um, a grandmother, a mother and a cousin are all connected. So your cousin might be the niece of your mother. On your grandmother's side, if that makes sense. I feel that they're letting you know that there's change coming. A cycle is closing. A new cycle is opening. Okay. I feel that they're being guiding you to be open to that. Yeah. Be open to that for sure. So we've got Cancer popping up here. We've got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. Aquarius is coming in strongly, Pisces and Cancer, and uh, Capricorn. Yeah. You may be missing your cousin as well, or a grandmother, or a mother that has passed over. But it's definitely a female energy. It's going to be different for all of you, but the predominant person that's come through is a cousin. Definitely a female cousin. All right, let's have a look and see what your advice message is from your cousin is. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your advice messages from the cousin of Scorpio? Thank you. Inspire others. So I feel either... Um, this love connection, um, I feel that it's hit your heart space, okay? And I feel that you're being guided to cry those tears or continue crying those tears to make room in your heart space to inspire others and to be inspired, okay? Um, I feel that many of you, yeah, look at that. They're saying thoughts create your reality. That's why they're saying to you, um, they're not far from you. You're, you're never alone. They are that beacon of light. They are in your heart space. They are at one with you. And I feel that that light that's within you um, will go. It's, it's like you are a beacon of light for others to inspire your thoughts, um, feelings, aspirations to do with money, to do with love. I feel that your cousin is saying, be mindful of those thoughts and feelings because that is what's creating your reality. That's what you're inviting into your reality. I'm also picking up that they're letting you know that patience, patience around your money, patience around this connection, um, patience to heal um missing your cousin if um you're resonating with this message like i say for some of you it could be a mother that has passed over or a grandmother that's coming in okay but predominantly it's definitely a cousin a female cousin is is the the, the main the main person coming in for those of you that i'm picking up 
So your thoughts create your reality. I feel that if you didn't give to a love connection, I feel that your cousin's saying put in the work. It's time to balance this out. This person could be heartbroken. You could be heartbroken, possibly because of the passing of your cousin. Um, and it's almost as if you need to make room. You need to make room to explore a new beginning with somebody that I feel that um, thinks the world of you. You may think the world of them. and They are ready for long term commitment or you are ready for long term commitment. So raise that vibration of your thoughts, your feelings. Yeah and continue helping others yeah um because the, it, i feel that that helps there's pets around you animals around you if that's not animals then it's it's going to be animal totems you know you may um connect with a, a cat animal totem if you see a strange cat that just tends to just walk in your path um just know that is your cousin coming in through that animal yeah and that is letting you know that the unconditional love that they have for you and that they're letting you know that you are never alone. Let's have a look and see what your guardian angel message is. Oh, thank you. Wow. OK, well, they're saying intuition. Your cousin's saying trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not necessarily be right. The answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. Yeah, so it feels as if um, your cousin is coming in with regard, well, a mother or a grandmother, okay, for some of you. It feels because it's it's like there's there's many that are coming together like your spirit team okay i feel that they're letting you know follow your intuition because with regards to a love connection um if you are not sure if you are uncertain if you didn't put work into this connection i feel that your cousin is saying to put the work in because there's going to be nothing but um happiness prosperity abundance it the connection um a love connection may not seem logical doesn't mean that it isn't right yeah doesn't mean that it isn't right you've got the um i feel that they're saying explore explore this because it's going to open up your world to a new beginning it's going to be something that's solid and grounded and I feel that this person, uh, this love connection, um, putting your resources together, you're going to end up um, having a very healthy financial um, environment. Yeah. So trust your feelings. I feel that this person inspires you or you inspire this person, a love connection. So trust your feelings. Do what feels right because... Uh, I feel that your cousin is saying it's because it is right. Yeah. And with them etched in your heart space, they are that beacon of light in your heart. So listen to your intuition. They're trying to guide you to this beautiful abundance. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you, uh, Scorpios. Please check out your moon rising and Venus signs that may help you um, on this journey. Um, if uh, this message resonated, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.